as we work towards the end of a school year that will rival <laughs> any school year ever for toughness in terms of mental and physical challenge, I wanted to just touch in on the importance of saying no. And the fact that no is a complete sentence, particularly for those of us who perhaps try to be kind and giving and generous and caring in our nature. Sometimes we give and we give and we give to others and we perhaps lose sight of the fact that we need to be looked after as well and that we've got limits uh, as to what we can actually manage. And perhaps you're more aware of your own limits than you might have been in the past. And you might know that you need a bit of space, that you're approaching burnout, that you're tired and you feel you need to say no. And what we find often is that comes with guilt, that comes with shame. It comes with lots and lots of justifications. No because or no and no is a complete sentence. You might want to say it more nicely. You might want to phrase it in a way that makes it land all right, but it is okay to protect yourself sometimes and just say no. Making space for yourself, taking care for yourself, enabling yourself to keep well-ish so that you can continue is important. And having the confidence to say no is a really important part of that. It's important for everyone. It's particularly important for those of us uh, like myself who are autistic or might have other challenges that mean that the day to day might be more difficult and that saying no is a really important part of our self care. But actually for all of us right now, we're exhausted. It's okay to say no or not now. The other thing I think that we need to remember here is that when we say no to the wrong things, to the things that we can't do or that we don't have the mental energy for or we don't feel are within the scope of what we're capable of doing or willing to do or able to do right now for whatever reason, when we say no to the wrong things, we actually create the possibility of saying yes to the right things. When we always say yes, we try to please, then sometimes we end up creating a situation where things come along and we have to say no, we're forced to because everything's already full or we've completely burnt out. So kids, just say no. <laughs> it's a tough one. I'm working on it still. I've got a lot better at it and I have help with that too from my amazing PA, but learn to say no. It's a big challenge, but a really, really important one.